Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, this your boy back with another video. And um, in today's video, we're going to be installing one of these on my e-bike. I got three of these, one for my, uh, one for me, one for my son, and hey, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to be installing these on my uh, on my kid's bike and my bike okay so let's get ready all right as you can see here um these are the various tools that we're going to be using um to be putting the uh circuit breaker on uh on my uh, e-bike so um here's we have a drill um to to um use these screws these self tapping screws to actually screw the uh, circuit breaker on the bike um, I had to go get some chucks from Harbor Freight. Um, got some heat shrink tubing, uh, wire strips, trusty old uh, razor knife if we need it. We got some wire snips, and we got a number three screwdriver. We got the clamp to uh, hold the uh, these here uh, eyelids down, so that way we can heat them up and get the solder on. We also got a torch. And our trusty old soldering station, our uh, eight gauge wire because we're gonna be redoing the uh, wire and also the, uh, to the controller, to the uh, circuit breaker, and some um, zip ties. So this is all the tools that we're gonna be using to do the work on the uh, e-bike over there. And uh, we're gonna get started by um, taking a screwdriver and um, getting the wire out right quick. Oh yeah, one thing to mention, um, I gotta get a sh give a shout out. To one of my uh, subscribers his name is Sheen and uh, what he did today is he sent me this nice nice spot welder it just came in the mail today I'm so happy I'm so excited to use it and everything so definitely gonna be putting that to good use uh, once again uh, Sheen I really really appreciate it it means a lot to me you know what I mean to, 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 to have y'all support have your support and everything and um like I say, if you need anything else, don't be afraid to hit me up. You know what I mean? And uh, I'll assist you with whatever I can do. Um, I had to assist a couple of my subscribers. Uh, uh, Learn Tech Studio, uh, Rick Burr, uh, Jack Cavanaugh, um, just to name a few. Uh, those are my subscribers, and I had to assist them, and, and they're pretty happy uh, uh, what I what I uh, did for them and everything. So, like I said, once again, Sheen, I appreciate it. And... Um, you know, we're going to put that to use because I got a bunch of batteries to build. I got one to build for my son and everything and uh, and uh, my wife and my baby mama. So we're going to get them on the road too. And this is going to help me out a lot. So, all right. Let's get to this um, um build for this um bike, putting the circuit brake in. All right. First thing we're going to do is uh we're going to go ahead and cut the, uh, the, the uh, zip ties that's holding the battery cable in. So we're going to cut that right quick. And I think that's it. And we're gonna go around the other side. And we're gonna go ahead and um, unplug the battery. Then we're gonna snip that. And then a screwdriver, we're gonna go ahead and um, undo the battery terminals. Let's put those back in for right now. The native one is hard to get, so we got to turn the wheel. And then we can get uh, access to that one. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and screw this one back in right quick. Okay. Now since we got a um a battery cable, well going to the controller, we can go ahead and modify this right quick. Let's get our eight gauge right quick, and we're gonna make that the same length as uh as the original cable. And uh, we're gonna cut that to length. 
I mean, this is not precise though, but it give us a good detail of what we're going to be doing. So we got that one out of the way. <clears throat> now we need to get now we need to get the black one and then cut it. Dang, I need to cut that down. Okay. Okay, and now we got that out of the way. I'm going to put that to the side. So what my plan is, is to place the uh, circuit breaker right in this location. So we're going to go ahead and do that right quick. So that way we can... Um, uh, get the uh, measurements of the positive cable because this is going to be hooked up to the positive side and If you look real close, you'll see some writing on where this um This here uh, stud is it'll say battery and other said be load Okay, so you want to hook it to where the battery comes out to this here uh, stud and then this is this will this side is going to go to the uh, controller So we're going to mount it right here and then um, you're gonna have the uh, this here is like a uh, five sixteenths uh, uh, self-tapping um, screw, and we're just gonna self-tap it right down the bottom, and we're gonna zip tie the the, uh, the top one right quick. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right quick, and uh, get you a five sixteen um, ratchet, or oh, not ratchet, but um, chuck. And we're going to put it right in this drill, or a shank, I guess what we call a shank or something. And we're going to put it in this drill, and get this so y'all can see, okay. And it's going to be mounted right here. Yep. Okay. Make sure we got it right. All right. Put some pressure on it. And there we go. and everything and then what we're going to do we're going to zip tie this right here now the purpose of the circuit breaker is to minimize the times you unplug and plug in the battery cable with the the uh, uh xt90 60 or qs8 any any plug you have on the battery so so when you want to turn your back on all you gotta do is flip the switch and the now the bike is is, is energized. The controller is energized. You can turn the bike on, and then when you want to turn the bike off, like you know from the battery, you can turn it off from the display. But right here, this is the main switch because this is what this the purpose of this circuit breaker is going to be to me. It's going to be a makeshift switch, so that way I won't have to unplug my battery all the time when I'm not using it. So when you press this button, there you go. So I'm plugging everything. This controller is not energized no more by the battery. And that's the purpose of the switch. So, or this um breaker. So we're gonna go ahead and um get our connections ready. Um we're gonna go back to the table and we're gonna get the um get the wiring um part done right quick and and yeah, that's it. Nice. And that's how you turn it off and turn it on right there. So so we're going to be reusing these um, eyelets again. This is what's on the clamp right here. So I already pulled this out. And to get this back out, you just use this torch, heat it up, and then melt it. And that's what we're going to do to redo the um, our new cable, which you can see right here. Is um, We're going to go ahead and solder the solder on. 
and um we're gonna go ahead and uh and put our new lead um cables on that yeah, just too much let me see there we go we don't want that much in um on it so make sure that's nice and then i'm gonna just stick it on in there like so so all right all right let's get the solder out whoa prop this up on something there we go damn it okay all right and we're gonna just heat this up right quick Let's carefully get it on now. Oh, and then we're gonna go ahead and um get all nice and uh, heated up on now. Like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that and we're gonna I'm gonna come back and um show you how to go ahead and put this in uh, with the uh with the torch. Alright, as you can see I had um Got it all heated up and um, and it just sunk right in with no problem. So uh, now we're gonna go ahead and get some heat shrink, put it over this uh, connector right here, and get all nice and um, nice and neat right there. So it's gonna re the re the process is gonna be repeated with the uh, with the uh, positive wire. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one off too because we're gonna be reusing this. But I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this for another project. Uh, probably one of the e-bikes I'm gonna build for the um uh maybe with my wife or something. So because she'll be running a 52 volt system. And um so we're gonna go ahead and um let this cool down for a little bit and we're gonna do the uh, uh positive wire and I'll be right back. Alright, let me show you uh the process right quick. I probably wanna see it and everything. So I got the starter iron in this uh in the the eyelid right here so we're going to heat that up a little bit and then we're going to take the torch and we're going to go ahead and sink it in right quick so let this heat up right quick do a little preheating that's what i'm doing okay i'm going to set that down in this and then i'm going to go ahead and heat it on up and then this thing right here will drop right on down in there It'll take a little time, but it'll, it'll eventually go in now. You see, it's already starting to fall. And there we go. <coughs> All right, now all I'm gonna do let it cool down and um. And um, put some uh, heat shrink on that, and uh, that'll be good to go. Man, let me tell you something. I finally got it in. And boy, look at here. You had to press fit this. This. Uh, let me show you. Hold on. Uh, I guess these little caps. They're a very tight fit for these. Uh, for this eight gauge wire right here. So it's a really tight fit. And once you get down at the at the real bottom you have to kind of press it in with your fingers i have to use had to use some uh channel locks over here just to get that cap on um tell you the truth i wouldn't recommend using these uh xt90 connectors i think they're a little bit um a little bit over the uh, borderline for this connector with these eight gauge wire um i'll I'll just highly go with the QS8. They're a little bit bigger and has way more room than uh than a QS uh, than the uh XT90 connector. So that's my little tip to let y'all know that it's it's a very tight fit. Um but all in all, let's uh we can go ahead and um 
get this uh sized up right here so we can go ahead and put it on the circuit break over there so unfortunately my solder ain't gonna get hot enough and my lighter doesn't even work no more look at that that's all i get so i can't even i can't even melt this on so what i had to do i had to use the i had to use these uh crimpers right here to crimp this shut what's up boy and it's not gonna move at all so now i don't even know if i can even get this oh there it is that's crazy my darn torch is just it just it wants to work when it wants to jesus man you know how much i paid for this lighter almost there no ten dollars for the third thing So let me get this right here um done and then I'll get back with you right quick. So this is crazy. Uh, Alright. So I got the finished product done. Thanks to this piece of crap right here, but I got it on, heat shrink, got it crimped on. I got the other one. The other one's on and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and start um we're gonna go and start hooking up to the e-bike right here and uh I'm up here watching uh, EB Bike Rides on uh, YouTube. <laughs> so, y'all want to, y'all can check him out right quick. Oh. So, anyways, I got the finished product done. Um, I got the um, I got the alloys in, um, all nice and finished, ready to connect to the circuit breaker. I got my uh, XT90 and everything. So, we're gonna go ahead and um, install it on circuit breaker and everything. So, um, if y'all didn't know, I was. <laughs> Watching uh YouTube uh, EB bike rides on YouTube, so <laughs> if y'all want to, y'all go check his channel out there. I've been he, uh I just realized that he from uh he's from Lakeland, so he don't live too far from me. So I've been watching his channel <laughs> every now and then. So all right, let's go ahead and get this on right. All right, I'm gonna use the supply washers right quick. Okay. Another thing I forgot to mention, I didn't know what size this is. Okay, so it's, it's 11, 11 millimeter socket or 7, uh, 7 16 socket. Well, we'll go ahead and um, secure that onto the uh, circuit breaker. So, so we're gonna go ahead and get that right quick. It don't have to be super tight, just enough to, there we go, just enough to make a decent connection. Uh, wait a minute, might not be a 7. Oh, it's a 10. Alright, so here he is. I got the um, wire to the uh, from the battery to the uh, circuit breaker. Now, this takes a 10 millimeter, okay? Um, either a 3 8 in standard or a 10 millimeter metric. Probably going to be metric because it's probably made in China, so... So you, you want to just snug it, you know, saying don't super tighten it. You don't want to you don't want to break the plastic. So so as you get that nice and, and tight, and then put your connector, uh, your little uh, waterproof uh, cap on, and then now and now this right here, this uh, negative wire is going to run straight to the controller. So you're going to get that straightened out, and that's going to run straight to the controller, as always. And then we'll leave that right down. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, do our bottom connection. Okay, it's already loose. All right, so we're going to add a copper washer at the bottom. And then we're going to get our connector on in. I don't think y'all can see this, so, but. And then there's another washer we're going to use. And then we have a nut. Uh, it's a 10. Okay, like I say, don't, you don't have to super tighten. Just get it tight, but not, not too tight, you know? So you don't wanna. And if y'all worry about clearance, I already checked this before. It has perfect clearance. There's no, it's actually no wider than the controller itself. So even the button sticking out, it's all clearance. If you can see, we got clearance okay so 
that's good right there all right now we're going to go ahead and uh, wire this up to the controller and everything plug the battery in and we're going to test uh, the circuit breaker another thing about the circuit breaker even though it's uh, i'm having it to service as a switch a mix of switch it's also a safety feature too so when you uh when you um actually you know there's a short if there's a short in the uh you no know, say somewhere in the connection or 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 even the battery um this right here will trip automatically so you know so it basically it's a safety feature also too as well as a switch that i'm using it for so um, so it's good to have a circuit breaker um, connected. So if you do have a short and everything, you won't be um, the battery don't don't go up in flames or you won't blow your controller up. So yeah, so this is this is gonna be a uh, it's a good investment. I can tell you that. So so anyways, we got this installed and everything, and we're gonna go ahead and um, test it and see if uh, it works and everything. All right, so I got it all plugged in. Uh, Still gotta, still gotta zip tie that on up right now. So, as you can see, got the circle brake on. It's not on yet. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on right quick and uh, see what we got. I messed with those later right now. All right. So, like I say, the purpose of this is to, to turn everything on to get this controller right here energized and everything. So we're gonna see if it works. All right, turn it on, there we go, and there we go, we got it. Now let's see if it turns off, so we're going to go ahead and turn this back off, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, push the button, okay, and then we're going to try to turn it on. There we go. And that's how we got it. So it works. Yay! Yeah, it works good. All right. <laughs> All right. So we got it now. Haven't rolled it um, today. Well, I rolled a little bit to the kids' school and everything, so it's still at 100%. So, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Got it done. That's that's good, man. It, I mean, it took me roughly about. Um, about what two hours sweating my butt off right now so anyways uh let me know what you think in the comments um like i say just you know it varies it varies um on on your um, bike and the way you design your uh your battery and stuff like that so um i guess it's gonna be a little different you know what I'm saying? but that is how you and um install a circuit brick on your bike and you can install this on any bike um it can be from a 40 36 volt all the way to 100 just as long as the amps as long as the amps right and everything so so if you have any questions let me know in the comments and i will see you on the next one